I've come to Washington, D.C. to meet with Canada's ambassador to the United States. I'm a little disappointed because I always thought Canada's ambassador to the United States was Drake. It's not. It's David McNaughton. How you doing, sir? I'm well, thanks. Well, thank you for having us here in these, uh, these chairs in your backyard. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, pretty humble surroundings and, uh, you know, lousy view, but uh, I cope. I know you're down here a lot, and you probably miss home a little bit. I do. All right, I brought you a little care package here. This is everything you're going to need. Ketchup chips. Awesome. Timbits, Smarties, and a couple of brews. So this is everything you need to get you through. Well, not quite. No? Where's the London dock? I don't have that, but I do have the next best thing. You're probably missing your health care. I brought you a flu shot. <laughs> Now, living in the States, we worry maybe that, you know, you're down here so much with the Americans, you might lose a little bit of your Canadian identity. So I have a short little quiz for you. Would you rather M&Ms or Smarties? Smarties. Mac and cheese or Kraft Dinner? Kraft Dinner. Coca-Cola or Canada Dry? Canada Dry. Budweiser or Canadian? Canadian. A Bloody Mary or a Caesar? Caesar. And the United States is Canada's closest neighbor. How do you spell neighbor? N-E-I-G-H-B-O-U-R. My man. <laughs> well, could we have a little look through uh, sure, at the People's sure. Embassy here? Absolutely. All right. So this is sort of Canadian soil in America. Yeah. It's already popular for parties. How popular do you think this place is going to be when pop becomes legal in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be lineups outside yeah. to get in? I'm just saying you can have a very good side business. And then this room is the Niagara Room. Now, here's the question. Is this the American side or the Canadian side? That's of the, the Canadian phone? side. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, no, whatever. I, I was expecting some ambassador answer of like, oh, it's a glass half full, half empty. No. Depends on how you look at it. But that's the Canadian side. Canadian side is always better looking than the other side. So <laughs> we're going to start a war. Careful. <laughs> this is the, the gallery where we have uh, displays frequently. This one is a one that Brian Adams put together. So as you see, all these are the wonderful, um, tastefully done ones. And then we do have one that isn't very tastefully done at all. And it has- Oh, wow. That is beautiful. And, and so, so I don't, I don't know who, who that person is, but it, Well, I think he signifies it, Canada. He is uh, well, as white as the Arctic. He's a very handsome man, and look at this. This guy is blocking him, however. President Trump has uh, a problem with the, the softwood lumber dispute. But I see what you're doing. You're getting our softwood in, one tree at a time. Right. Uh, our country, I think, is in very good hands with our ambassador. Ambassador, thank you so much well, thank for you. having us. Yeah, it's great to have you here. Don't have a full 22 minutes to spare? Watch our show in small, hilarious chunks here, and subscribe to our all-new channel below.